Hi, right, welcome back to Everyday Race. This is going to be a part two video, 2.3 to 2.5 liter swap in, into a 95 to 97 Ford Ranger or a Mazda B2300. Now, for the 2.5 liter to be able to swap into a 95 to 97 truck, you need to do a couple of things. First thing you need to do, you need to uh, install 2.3 liter uh, engine mount brackets. The reason being is because the 2.3 liter brackets they have one hole and the 2.5 liter has two holes so because uh, both trucks they use different style engine mounts but the engine brackets is pretty simple swap you got three bolts on both sides and uh, I bolt the 2.5 bolt the 2.3 and you're ready to go Next, you have to figure out how to run your uh, throttle body. Now, you can keep original 2.5 liter intake, or you can swap to a 2.3 liter intake and the uh, throttle body. The main difference being the throttle body. Now, this tube on the 2.3 liter is blocked off, and the reason being is because the uh, hose from a valve cover goes straight to the intake. Uh, intake tube and on the 2.5 liters it goes from the valve cover to the throttle body Now you can run different combination whatever you want. I've decided to keep the 2.5 liter intake just block off this uh, Outlet or inlet whatever you want to call it and just run from the valve cover to the intake tube. You can also Run it the 2.5 liter style you can run from valve cover to the throttle body and just uh, block off the hole in the intake tube All right next The next big difference It's not on there. I already pulled it off is the fuel rail the fuel rail is different on the 2.5 liter and the 2.3 liter and the reason being is because the 2.5 liter runs a returnless fuel system What that means is that the fuel rail as hooked up to the fuel injectors only has one inlet it doesn't have any outlets and the reason being is because the ECU controls how fast the fuel pump is spinning and that's how uh, it achieves its optimum fuel pressure which is I think roughly around 65 psi now the 2.3 liter they have a, a return style fuel system which runs at 43 psi which is 3 bar as an inlet and an outlet and uh, the fuel pump is always working 100% and the mechanical fuel pressure regulator controls how much fuel pressure your injectors are getting. So it's a simple on both the 2.5 liter fuel rail and both the 2.3 liter fuel rail instead. Real simple. Then you got to change the fuel injectors. The 2.5 liter actually runs smaller 14 pound injectors than the 2.3 liter which runs 15 pound injectors. The reason being is because the 2.5 liter runs a higher fuel pressure roughly 65 psi. So 14 pound injectors at 65 psi probably flow maybe 17, 18 pounds of fuel. Once again it's real simple just swap the injectors they plug in to the harness on the 2.5 or a 2.3. It's the same style of fuel injectors. Real simple. All right, so the next thing, it's really up to you. The 2.5 liter runs a plastic thermostat housing, and it has an extra sensor. Now, unlike the 4.0 liter, the thermostat housing doesn't have tendency to crack and get damaged and leak so it's really up to you I've decided to keep the 2.5 liter original thermostat housing but you can swap for a metal 2.3 liter thermostat housing uh, the two main differences are uh, the thermostat housing is going to be made out of metal and it's not going to have this sensor in it it's just going to have this sensor on it so it doesn't really matter and that's pretty much it. Once you get all those things done, 
Your 2.5 liter is ready to be bolt on into your 95 to 97 Ranger or B2300 series. So that's going to be it for today. I'm going to continue working on the truck, on the engine, and getting it ready. So have a good day.